What time is it? It's Super Happy Launch Time! Hey everybody out there on internet and YouTube Wonderland, this is Marty Rocket and Bell and we're here with a, a new video called Cheap Toy Palooza. Um, this could be the first of many or it could be a one-off, we're not sure yet but either way the gist of this video is we've picked up a bunch of um, discount toys that have cost no more than one great British pound um, over the last few months actually we picked them up last year I think. Yeah actually this the whole idea of this video came pretty much when the hideout opened didn't it? Yeah. Um, we were in a store and saw some cheap toys and thought hey wouldn't it be cool to do a video on that but uh, it's taken us this long to actually do it. <laughs> yeah it's taken us this long but now we finally decided to sit down and do it uh, for your viewing pleasure. We've got a cavalcade of all sorts of weird and wonderful wacky toys that cost no more than one great British pound so we may as well get the get the show started get the ball rolling what's the first one okay uh, so we're gonna start off with something a bit different they're called Mongo Grinders and as you can see our Mongo Grinder is a totally bodacious shark on a skateboard um, I don't know if you want to tell them the story behind these yeah, there's, there's a big backstory to these. Hey, actually, let me, uh, sorry, don't mean to interrupt. Look, I want you to first see the story on the back of the packaging. Uh, usually you get a better paragraph, but this is an entire novel, so uh, Marty's going to read that for us. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. <laughs> so, this is Mongo Grinders. Collect them all. Meet the Mongo Grinders, an outrageous group of skateboard buddies who share the, the love of nature and a thirst for adventure. These skate dudes first started out as fast friends looking to swap their comfy zoo habitats for some extreme real world ecosystem explorations. This sounds like something from Captain Planet or something <laughs> among. But these dudes were in for a big surprise. Once outside the zoo they were shocked to see how the Earth's precious natural resources had been used and abused. Everywhere they looked they saw garbage, waste and pollution. It saddened, it saddened them to see so many different plant and animal species struggling to survive in the wild. They knew they had to do something to help. But what? That's when the friends morphed into Mongo Grinders! Skateboard buds totally devoted to teaching cool skating moves while also spreading the word about na nature conservation. So join the Mongo Grinders to learn all kinds of cool skateboard tricks and how to protect the environment. Get ready for the Mongo Grind Challenge. Mongo! Planet Earth is our only skate park. Treat it with respect. And that's the story. So basically, Captain Planet, you get these teenagers that have special rings that give them superpowers that enable them to fight crime and whatever. Meanwhile, these dudes turn into skateboarders. <laughs> That's it. Skateboarders! That's their, that's their superpower. And not only can you collect them all, as there are several on the back of the packaging, you can also go on to the website where you can use your secret passcode to access more fun and games. So what I have to wonder about this toy is, is it actually sort of a toy made for those like Dollar Tree-like stores? Or was it like a toy that was in stores like Toys R Us and the Entertainer and it was just sort of because people paid so little attention to it, it got downgraded and put into like Poundland and 99p store and Well yeah, like it's, it's funny you say that because compared to other cheap toys at these shops, uh, it has pretty decent packaging and you know, all the all the, the words are spelled correctly. The only error I noticed was the... Uh, the code back here says boneyest shark. I know. Shark I know it's boneless. So. Yeah, this is boneless yeah, shark. Yeah, his name is boneless. Um, that's some irony because sharks are not can boneless. I, can I just <laughs> introduce the rest of the characters to everybody for a second, just real quick? So we have boneless the shark, blow out the lion, Ollie the skateboarding octopus. They all skateboard, by the way. But and the the thought of an octopus using a skateboard is just great. <laughs> We have Nose Grind the Rhino who wears a hoodie. Oh, and does he skateboard? Yeah. Yeah, they all skateboard. They all skateboard. Okay, go on. Fakey the, the uh, Silverback Gorilla, I guess, wearing 
denim shorts and a baseball cap, <laughs> back to front. Backslide the crocodile wearing um, Converse basketball boots. Bail the fox wearing uh, a brown shirt and a baseball cap, back to front. Primo the elephant wearing a bandana, a, v uh, a white wife beater and a looks leather like a vest. biker, actually. He looks a bit like Stone Cold, actually. Like <laughs> we'll have to show them. Kick flip the frog wearing a blue hoodie. Indy the lizard wearing a, a red wife beater. One of my personal favourites that I wish was at the store at the time. Half Shell the Turtle wearing a blue baseball cap back to front. And finally, which is suitable for our purposes, Rocket the Giraffe wearing a brown black brown, brown <laughs> backpack and white t-shirt. Those are all the characters that you get in this set. And here you can have a closer look at them right here. Freeze frame. Okay, um, so would you like to do the honours of opening our very first Mongo Grinder? Okay, our very first Mongo Grinder, implying that we're actually going to get Five any more. more. If, hey, you never know. Well, I was going to say, if anybody who enjoys this video wants to see us do more things like this, you can help contribute and help make more videos like this by sending us cheap... Weird and we're just gonna sound like, like we're knocking off a certain YouTuber by doing this. <laughs> hey, I, I want to Hey, free we do everything. We rip off everyone. Okay, so the toy is bendy. Yeah, these are. It says it on the packaging. They are bendable figures. And I don't know why they have to be bendable. They also but... have a suction cup at the bottom. See hey, that? so that means they can suction onto the skateboard, skateboard yeah. which let me show you by the way, has a very nice decal of the brand and it's got neon orange wheels. Yeah, it's wheels. very nice, that's really nice that. And it rolls. <laughs> okay, I was just, I thought it might have had a copyright thing on it, but it doesn't. Um, it's been made in China though. Uh, oh, actually, course. copyright something called K&M 2008, whatever, that, whatever company that is. So let's see if it sticks. Hey, it does as well, hey, that's pretty sticks. impressive. Can you, can you guys see it? They're sticking. Look at this. Woo! Magic! That's actually pretty good. Well, oh. you know, um, <laughs> well you weren't moving it. Yeah, but that's pretty good for a, a budget toy, really. I mean, the detail on him is pretty cool. You can see that he's wearing a, a shark tooth necklace, which is ironic. Maybe it's one of his own teeth. Um, and the, the suction, the suction, like I said, the suction cup works well. The detail's good. Paint works good as well. Yeah, I'm well, you know, I pulled pretty hard then. But yeah, that's that's pretty good. So you could uh, potentially do all sorts of skateboard tricks and crap. Hey. Wow, that's a, that's a <laughs> Look, trick. He's isn't doing it? a trick. Woo! <laughs> right, uh, we're having way too much fun with this. Um, yeah, I actually, I, I really like this one. Um, uh, yeah, I actually, I actually like wanna, it too. I actually want to get more of these now. <laughs> well, even, I mean, the skateboards themselves. They're not bad quality, are they? They're kind of like those little skateboard toys that... The what what do they call it? Like skip, skip tricks or... I don't know. What those fingerboards that you need. Yeah. Let's, um, let's yeah. put them on okay, the skateboard let's and roll them away. Bye. Bye. There okay. Um, so as I said... and Oh, God. Don't you love it when packaging just comes off so neatly? Actually, anyway. yeah. That's, um, that's another good point. The packaging's actually really good on it as well. And like I, like I mentioned earlier, you get a secret passcode, which you can see here. Um, and we'll have to, at the end of the video, we will put in that passcode and see just what kind of fun and games we can find. That'll be okay. something to look forward yes, to, so make will. sure you watch the entire video, okay? Yeah, or you can skip to the end. This is YouTube. I'd rather you not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, next up we have Marty's favourite robots and not just any robots they are da, 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 da. hero <laughs> robo formers so i guess that means they're robots incognito as opposed to robots in disguise or something right <laughs> um, these are actually based on the transformers animated transformers that was the line just before this one, this yeah. transformer. As you can on. see by his enormous chin, that is sort of the call, the hallmark of animated. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, there are six to collect according to the back of the box. Again, the packaging is actually quite nice for one of these. It's uh, uh, printed it's, front and back. I think it's alright. I'd say it's pretty standard, cheap toy packaging. Uh, it's I very, it's very vague, worse. very vague. But um, you get there are six to collect, um, as you can see here. 
There they are. Yeah, you can talk about them and I'll show you. Yeah, them. there's from left to right, there's car robot, car robot, police robot, trailer robot, jet robot, and police robot. So they leave no doubt in your minds that these are ind indeed vehicles. <laughs> and they are also indeed robots. Yes. <laughs> um, they're actually two versions of Ratchet from Transformers. One that's pretty much loyal to his original paint job and the other repainted. These two, I think. Two versions of Bumblebee. One, again, pretty much how he looked in the cartoon and another sort of white variant. Tra and two. Yeah. And then Trailer Robot, which is... Curiously enough, Optimus Prime painted green. And Jet Robot, which is Thundercracker, who in Transformers lore is always a repaint of Starscream. We have Trailer Robot and Jet Robot. <laughs> so, in, te technically, we've got Optimus Prime and Thundercracker. Yeah. 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 So, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to open up these bad boys and see which one of us can transform them first. So, uh, do you want to want to start a countdown or something? Yeah, okay. Um, do it in Spanish. Count backwards. Do it in Spanish. Yeah. Okay. Backwards in Spanish? Yeah, from three. Can I, can I just count forward? It's okay, go on. Then. unusual. Okay. Uno, dos, tres! So even no, actually, that's something that's <laughs> you know if you're gonna if you're gonna release a Transformers toy, at least have some instructions with it. And even the pictures on the back are a bit ambiguous, I'd say. That's right. Look, he's um, he, he, his thing's pointing backwards. How the heck do you point? Okay, so the winner of our Transformer Cheap Robot Challenge is Marty Rocket. <sighs> yeah, boy. With his. Thing. <laughs> it's uh, that's the best I could get it. That is Optimus Prime. I mean, it it looks it looks more or less transformed. Uh, I mean, um, mine isn't too bad, uh, except I can't figure out where to put his arm things. Uh, I, I honestly think if you know how, to go yeah. Well, it's like I know that doesn't make sense, but that's how it shows. It's like you picture. can't even get it. If you know how to transform this, leave a comment. <laughs> yeah, and um, only if it's the. Hero Robo form. Oh, I'm not interested in hearing how you. I'm not interested in hearing how you transform and um, Transformers Prime Starscream because that's completely irrelevant to this. Yeah. Um, um. So, this is a repaint of Optimus Prime. Does he actually turn into Optimus Prime's vehicle form? Or? Yeah. Yeah. That's he does. that's more or less it. And oh, without okay. the. Well, Optimus Prime from Transformers Animated turned into some kind of weird fire truck, and he had blue and red like sirens on the top of his cab but they, they've been painted black here um, but yeah this is more or less it I mean I think I, I suspect they pretty much took like um, the more sort of um, cheaper um, downsized scale version of the actual Hasbro toys and just repainted them like this one's green and I've noticed the wheels are kind of really bad they don't they don't they don't <laughs> they're grip, not even they don't straight the, they don't even grip the the Does it roll? terrain either. Does no, it roll? not really. Ooh. Not really. I, um, I mean, on the other hand, my jet isn't too bad. Uh, it feels really cheap plasticky. Yeah, of. yeah, so does this, to be so honest. So, like, this weird, like, you'd expect medical instruments to be made of this plastic. I don't, I don't know, they're just really weird and plasticky. Yeah. Um, the paint is... Eh. I've seen worse on official toys. So. Well, I mean, um, Optimus Prime, or Truck Robot rather, his arm has fallen off. Yeah, uh, well, here's transforming. Uh, he knocked his arm off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's probably, uh, it's just a, a hinge joint, so that can probably go back on fairly easy. It's just a question of me being a ball joint. Yeah. Oh, well. so, um, so what do you that make was of Hero Robo Formers. As something you buy a noisy little kid while you're out, I mean, it's not too bad. Um, well, when I was a kid, I used to get 
when um, when there used to be a discount toy store in um, in Solihull, um, they used to actually sell um, machine robos, which were the actual official Japanese version of GoBots. And they only sold those for a pound, and my mum would buy me like one or two to shut me up on a shopping trip. <laughs> and those were made with real plastic and die casts, and you know, that was supposedly a bootleg toy, even though it was official. These toys, though, they don't stack up to Machine Robo, but they're, they, they're okay. Yeah, you know, I, mean, I mean, I've, I've seen more of them. I mean, <laughs> if, uh, if, I, if, I was, if I was like eight years old, and I wanted a, a toy, and my mom bought me one of these, or my dad bought me one of these. I don't think I could play in actually. I think actually, I think I like it better. Like, look at this! Like it's some freaky futuristic robot thing. Looks like something from the Terminator. <laughs> actually. Uh, yeah, so they're okay. They're not bad. Um, you can go over there with Shark. Yeah. Boneless Shark. Boneless. Um, that's the name, right? It's not a very good. Boneless. It's not a very good name for a heroic shark. Boneless. It implies that he's not very brave. Now. Uh, I, yeah, agree. actually, yeah, actually. That's a um, point. But we need to stop talking about him. <laughs> no, he's awesome. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, right, so next up is something a bit different. Uh, here, you can introduce this one this time. <laughs> okay, everybody, hold on to your hats, because it's time for Splatter Turds. Look at that. That pink, mean-looking face. Uh, yeah, I'd like to point out on the packaging. Let's see if I can get a bit closer. These are some mean-looking pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. Uh, they are very angry to be to be to exist. I imagine. That, I get. Um, I'm assuming that's that's their gimmick. That they're they're angry pieces of shit. Angry they're angry turds. turds. Yeah. Hey, you Which could, rhymes with could, Angry Birds? Yeah, you could make an actual. You could make a version of Angry Birds. And just instead of the bird, um, put a, like just superimpose a turd. And instead of the the towers of pigs or whatever they are, I don't know. I don't play Angry Birds. <laughs> towers of toilet paper, and the turds are launched into the toilet paper, and you've remade <laughs> the game right there. You think it would be the toilet paper being launched into the turds? No, nah, because nobody likes the toilet paper. They like the angry looking turds. Okay. Um. So what is it? First of all, uh... it's it's squashy. So I'm assuming. I mean, it says. Throw it and squeeze it, so obviously it's just mm. something to be abused. <laughs> okay, Let's... so they're angry, abused shit. Well, no wonder they look angry, you know? I, know, I mean, I know. it's bad enough you're a turd, but then you're an abused turd, you know? You're having trouble opening no, the packaging there. Right, it feels... Oh, man. It feels actually kind of, like, squidgy and slimy. Whoa, Whoa man. <laughs> look at that. Okay, first of all, you, as you've... Let's, where's the cover? Where's the... Uh, the... Packaging. packaging right right you've seen the art on these they look, they look cute sort of cartoony yeah. look now now look first of all look at his face he looks pretty demented hey you know what he reminds me of actually he reminds me of krang oh cool we've got our own krang yes we and have. he is sticky he is very very sticky look at that can you can you like look if you can see this yeah, put it there, there. if you can see this look look at that it sticks <laughs> It sticks to the... Oh man, look at that! <laughs> look, 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 okay. It's all sticky. That... You know, I, I'd probably be amused for hours. <laughs> that... Uh, that is... That is absolutely, absolutely mental, man. <laughs> it, 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 you know what? Women could save themselves a fortune and instead of having bre proper breast implants, they could put these in it. Put, it's the same. Well, it's the put, same. So, um, ha, put some angry looking turds in your some breasts. Some angry shit in your breasts. <laughs> it's better than the Kill poisonous shit. Kill me! <laughs> that, I really like that actually. I wish we'd, we'd have bought more. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they come in different designs. The packaging makes it seem like you, I think would. they have because I've seen the different um, coloured ones. Because so. I, I would love to have the gr the lime green one because that's yeah. my favourite colour. Uh, and actually, I really like the one on the front right there. I mean, I don't know if he's supposed to look you know like what? him. You know what? The purple one on this packaging looks like um, that lumpy... Lumpy, lumpy space yeah. princess. Yeah. Oh, look at us. And, and, the green, and, the, and that one looks like Krang, which is absolutely brilliant. And you know, as I'm squeezing it, it's gotten attached to my hand. That, that is great, actually. Uh, I really like that. Yeah. I, I wonder if it's melted a bit uh, since we've... This has been in the closet for months. So. Well, it says to throw it and squeeze it, so I assume it's supposed to be... Yeah, I, I'm assuming... Does it stick to the wall? 
Oh, it sticks damn. to the floor. It sticks to the floor. I was actually aiming for its face. Let's um, let's <laughs> it sticks to the wall. It does. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's stuck to the freaking wall. That is excellent. It's a turd. It's sticky. It makes like all, it goes all bubbly. Um, it feels really weird, and it looks like crank. And it sticks to surfaces. And it's pissed off. And it looks really pissed off, yeah. I really like this. I really like that, yeah. I like um, that. So that's going with Sharky over there. Yeah. All right. Hey, I wonder if it does that thing where you put it on newspaper and it takes the print off. That's a good question. It does! <laughs> Look! So I could do my crosswords on this. <laughs> right. Uh, ooh. You go over there. Um, right, so we've saved the messiest for last. Uh, if you can believe we have something messier than a turd. Um, I know, how about that? Which one do you want? Um, uh, I'll take that one. Not that one, yeah. okay. And these are... Da -da -da -da, seabed fossils! Um, you get so many of these in pound shops around here, and they're always different varieties, dinosaur fossils or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, I, I love messy things, and I love surprises, so I really wanted to pick this up. Can I just say something? Go on. I love the slogan for this thing. Dig it out! Yeah! Uh, that is a great slogan for something that it has a bit of a scientific sort of educational background. Kids don't like toys like that, really. I'll read the back of the packaging for you while well, you Well, I put up. out yeah. the uh, protective yeah. newspaper. <laughs> Release the creatures from their fossilized rocks. Carefully chip away at the petrified rock until at least you at last you reveal the creature inside. One in plaster dust may irritate eyes, nose and throat. If irritation occurs, stop use immediately. Avoid contact with the eyes. In case of contact, flush with water and seek medical advice shown in this package. Not recommended for kids under six. Contains sharp functional tools, only to be used under adult supervision. Avoid dust contact with clothes and furnishings. I feel like... A, I feel like I need my dad here, and B, I feel like I need an apron. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it is dangerous and dirty, and I'm going to enjoy it very much. Um, as you can see, you get three different tools to excavate your fossil with. A hammer, a little brush, and a sort of chisel, which I guess you use with the hammer. Um, if if this wasn't our apartment, I'd just smash it on the floor, but that's just me. Well, we can let's, do that outside. Open. I hate when packaging does yeah, that. Yeah, the package gets an F. It hasn't come away as clean as all the others, that's, so that's not good. I hate this sort of shit. Yeah, dust. Right. Okay, I've got it open. Marty doesn't like messy things, so this is going to be fun watching him do it. I can't even open the bag. <laughs> right, I've gotten my fossil out. It looks like a nice little conch Ooh, shell. Uh. Ooh, uh. <laughs> uh, it looks like a cute little conch shell. I've got my cheap plastic hammer coming out as well. It's a hammer. Um, we have our chisel with tape on the end and our little well it's like a little paintbrush you'd get in like a painting set so this is all obviously to make you feel like an actual archaeologist so or maybe somebody like dr grant from jurassic park right <laughs> if that was his name here's marty's that. fossil it's very much more interesting looking than mine i chose that because it looks like an ammonite yes. is it an ammonite i don't one remember you know one of the pokemon the the watery one uh the water one yeah the blue one i don't remember Oops, shaking the camera. <laughs> Don't shake. Right, so are we ready? Yes. Are we ready to excavate our fossils? Excavate. Can we ec excavate? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Right. Um, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> you must be scientific and do this. You put your chisel in. What do, what do archaeologists talk about? They talk about Triceratops shit, don't they? Oh god. And the first chip has fallen on me. Triceratops. Yeah, Triceratops shit. Oh! Like in Jurassic Park. I mean, I don't know what they talk about. So, uh, how about them Yankees? How about them Yankees indeed? 
This is not happening as quickly as I thought. I thought it would just collapse and you know, as soon as you You know, I ran eight miles today and I think that'll take less time than doing this. <laughs> Transformers do, do the sky bike version. The, the Transformers version. Someone's in the kitchen with dark screen. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Oh man, you can carry on if you want, but I feel like I've given up. <laughs> have you actually got the cheese no. breaking a sweat? Have you I got have the chisel in? Yeah. See, I've got a little crevice. Um, if you guys can see this, I've managed to get that much out of my fossil. I think the point is you gotta lodge your little chisel in and just keep going. Don't stop, man. Don't give up. supposed to be what oh why are we like excavating fossils from fossils that's a very good question actually isn't it it's like you excavate the ground looking for fossils you don't excavate fossils looking for shit inside do you or maybe you do i don't know i'm not i'm not an archaeologist uh. it's like i've never seen like somebody on a nature show go wow a dinosaur fossil let's break that shit open and get the dinosaur inside Shouldn't we have like taken- Is nature gachapon dispenser or something or? Shouldn't we have like taken these to a lab and turned them into Pokemon or something by now? Mm. Stabbing it with my screwdriver. She's hacking away at it. To, I mean, I'm half tempted to take mine out onto the patio and th throw it really hard against the brick wall out there and we'll see if I can break it open. That might be fun, actually. Should we go do that? Yeah, let's get mine open the slightly legitimate way. my screwdriver made. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in there, you know. It says a different fossil in every... Oh! Oh! Oh god! There's something in there! You see it? Right. Somebody something play the green. Jurassic Park music, please. How did the Jurassic Park music go? Um... Oh man, I've hit a complete blank now and, the, and Jurassic Park 1 and 3 are on Sky Movies all the time. Why is Jurassic Park 2 not on Sky Movies, by the way? Yeah, that's a really good question and totally irrelevant to this no, video. It's, no, it's a fossil! <laughs> dinosaurs, man! Right. I'm sure everybody in Internet and YouTube Wonderland will side with me that it's perfectly relevant to what we're doing. You know what? Since 
since I'm still un un unearthing my fossil, which I'm very, I, I know what it is now, and I'm pretty pissed off. What is it? I'm not telling you yet. While we're do while I'm doing this, can you tell our audience why you call it Internet and YouTube Wonderland? Um, because this is something I've been wondering. Why do I call it Internet and YouTube Wonderland? Yes. Do you know what? I pretty much just that was the first thing I thought of saying. You know the, where it came from. Um, professional wrestling legend Jimmy Superfly. I knew Snooker. it had something to yeah. do with wrestling. He would always, when he used to always talk to the audience um, on the tele, like the television audience, he would always call them the people out there in television wonderland. Um, so that's where I pretty much ripped it off from. But Jimmy Snooker's great. So if you're gonna rip from something or somebody, why don't you rip off from one of the best? Jimmy Snooker was fucking cool. Let's talk Gosh. about that because that's more interesting than this fucking thing. Right. He used now to go, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, go on. First of hoo, all, some, shut up! Something interesting is I'm using my little paintbrush to sort of dust it off, and the dust is flying into the air. Well, that's not good. Very disconcerting. Now, I want you to look at this. Well, first of all, this is what I've got left from my huge fossil. I want you to see what it is and tell me what it is. Do you see it yet? It's a fucking seahorse. <laughs> I spent all this time digging up a seahorse, and it's not even the fossil of a seahorse, it is a seahorse which was presumably buried alive well, in this concoction. Thank, uh, well, you can feel good about yourself that you've helped a I seahorse. I freed the seahorse. I, I kind of want to get it out. I I've noticed that it's got sort of like a loop on its head. Are you supposed to make these into necklaces? Maybe it's a key ring or something. Maybe. See, even even down to the freaking fossil, I can't get him out. I had to use, I had to use a screwdriver. I want you to see the the. Can you help me out here? Can you go point the camera at this? Yes, I can. I want you to see the debris left over and the minuscule ass fossil, fossil that was left. Right. You getting this? Yep. All of this. Leaves this and uh, and Let's he... look at the back of your hand as well. Uh, other way. Uh, there. Oh, is this all the yeah, dust? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. That was ass. And look at Marty's. He didn't even put a dent in his. We're gonna go outside and destroy it. Oh, Stay yeah, tuned. That's what it. That's what it deserves. That's what it deserves. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. It is a fish. It is not a fossil. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations, Morty. You got your fossil. You know what I say to that? That's what I say to it. Fuck it. So we're going to Mongo Grinders. Is it dot com? On the yep, Mongo Grinders dot com. Ooh, dot com. And it's and not it even there anymore. It doesn't exist. Oh no! These. Really? www.mongogrinders.com. Let's just search Google for it. Mongo Grinders. Well, image Google definitely has has a bunch of them. Did they have a drink? No, mango Asian hot sauce. Okay. Anyway. I thought you were going to say Asian hot sex for a minute. Hot sex. <laughs> hey, they sell them on Amazon. How much for? Ah, uh, well, three available. new from four ninety five. Wow, we paid a pound for it. I mean, this is the rhino. Whether he's like the rare or the common one, and there's a bunch of them. I wouldn't like, pay that much. They're called for Wild Bu Republic. Is the company? Look, they still have a website. There we go. Huh. The um, octopus looks awesome, by the way. Yeah, look at that. Um, but other than that, 
um, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. There's no website. That sucks. I was really looking forward to doing that. I mean, they kept the... Obviously, the Walled Republic company has a website. Couldn't they keep up the one with the codes? Well, they were copyrighted 2008, I guess. It's just... I never even saw that on the... It's on the, uh, it's on on the skateboard, the skateboard yeah. isn't it? Okay. Oh, it's on the back as well. Copyright Wall Republic. Well, that's not nice. This is a lesson that I guess these things don't last forever unless they're really, really successful, like... Um, what's another one of these kind of things? Mushy Monsters or something? I don't know. Well, this is what I think of it. <laughs> Ass.